Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a big win Saturday, uh, something we needed coming off that big loss to Maryland. But like you said, I mean, it's, it's a new week. It's Baylor. They're a tough team. Um, definitely good offensively, so we just got to look past it. I mean, we still have a chip on our shoulder. Nobody still gives us any respect to think we're like, what, four touchdown underdogs or something like that. So uh, just got to come out and play hard. Their offense is quick. I believe all their scoring drives average about a minute 25. How do you keep up with the tempo like that? Just get just get back to the ball, line up, get the call, um, keep everything in front of you. Uh, you know, they're going to take shots downfield for sure. Uh, you know, like the zone play and stuff like that. Just. I mean, play hard, play fast, and slow them down or slow them down. You obviously saw that last year as well, uh, and they were very successful in a loss. But what, what do you recall from that game a year ago? Uh, uh, actually, I didn't play that game. Uh, okay. I injured my back the week before. Okay. You, you regret that you were injured? Or you kind of wish you were there? <laughs> no, was that I mean, a blessing in the sky? <laughs> no, I mean, I definitely <laughs> wouldn't play that game for sure. Yeah. They, but they have, they, you know, they were. They put 63 points up, and it just seemed like the last team that had the ball was going to win. Did you kind of see something like that maybe on Saturday? Absolutely not. No, we, uh, you know, we don't care how many points they've scored. You know, last year, uh, the first three games they played this year, you know, defensively, we're going to, I mean, just like every week, strive to uh, get a shutout. But they haven't even had like a three and out. I mean, what are they doing that's been so successful? Just taking shots downfield. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the, Past defenses, the three defenses they played this year, you know, play a lot of man. Uh, I mean, the wide receivers run pat right past the the corners and uh, defensive backs. But you know, we got a good game plan, and uh, I think we're gonna execute it pretty well. Along with the receivers, they got a really talented running back in Cecil. What have you seen in him, and how are you gonna plan on stopping him? He, uh, I mean, he runs the ball hard. You know, he's he's a good back. He transferred from Oregon, so obviously has to be good. He recruited from both of those schools. Um, I mean, he, he he sees the holes really well. I think that's his biggest attribute. Um, but I mean, just you know, keep them in front of you. Uh, I and mean, we got, I've got great guys in front of me. I mean, Shaq and Will and um, Dontrell and Kyle. Uh, I mean, you know, they just make plays easy for us. So just, you know, just uh, stay calm. Don't get, you know, don't get in trouble or anything. And uh, you know, just tackle. Ending a game last week, Oklahoma State obviously had a highly touted offense, and you all stopped them pretty well. Does that give you any motivation heading into an offense that's equally, if not even more talented than the one you saw last week? Yeah, uh, I mean, it gives us confidence, um, you know, because they, they pretty much have the same numbers as Baylor does, maybe a little bit less. But, I mean, knowing that we can go in there and stop, you know, uh, Oklahoma State like we did, it'll give us confidence coming into Baylor this week, and you know, hopefully we can do the same thing.